Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to tell you about the use of some of the properties of the script menu of Algudu, namely border width, draw border, opaque border, texture clamped and texture matrix. So let's begin. Bismillah rahman rahim While watching the video, a red ticker of famous quotes and sayings by famous personalities will scroll below and you can read them. My lesson's first topic is the use of border width property, which can be used to control the width of the borders of the objects. This property is not available in the script menu. You will have to type it here as app.borderWidth. Let's first see the current width of the border. So it's 0.03. you can see the boxes border is so thin which is barely visible let's make it 0.1 now let's make it 0.3 you can see the borders are now thicker and visible now let's come to the second property called draw border this property has two possible values, false and true. When the value is false, the borders are not visible. And if its value is true, the border becomes visible. As it is true by default, the borders can be seen around the box. Let's make it false and press enter. See, the border has disappeared now. Let's make it true again. You can see it has become visible again. Let's come to another property. That is um, uh, opaque border. This also has got two possible values, true and false. If it is true, the borders are opaque and visible. When the whole object is invisible are transparent. If it is false, the borders are transparent. Remember, this property only makes border invisible when the whole body is already transparent. The default value is true. Let's make it false. As you can see, the borders are still visible because we have not made the object transparent yet. Let's make it transparent first. Now the box is transparent and is invisible. The borders are also invisible because the opaque border is false. When you change it to true, the borders become opaque. Make it false again. Make it true again. Let's make it false again. Make it true again. Make the draw border is false. The borders disappear. Make it true. The borders reappear. Before going to learn about texture clamped, Let's first change the texture of the object. You can change the texture to gold, wood or rubber etc. Let's make it gold. Now go to the script menu and check the value of the texture. You can see it is gold.png. Let's make it rubber.png. The material is like rubber now. Let me tell you that these textures are actually images which are situated in this folder in PNG format. This is algudu logo.png. This one is chain link.png. Let's load the chain link one.png. As you can see, the texture has changed now. Now let's make it algudu logo.png. As 
As you can see, an array of Algudu text has appeared in the box. The next property I am going to show you is Texture Clamped. It has got two logical values, one for x-axis and another for y-axis. The x-axis controls the repetition of the image in x-direction or you can say horizontally. The y value controls the repetition of the image in y-axis or you can say vertically. As you are seeing that making the value to true in the x-axis, it removes the repetition of the image in x-direction and making the y value to true removes the repetition in y-axis. Let's make the text a bit smaller by changing this value of the texture matrix. Let's make it a little larger. Now make the y value false. You will see the text repeated in vertical position. Make it true again. Now make the x value as false. You can see the repetition of the text in horizontal has reappeared. Now make both of them to false. You can see the text is repeated both vertically as well as horizontally. Let's make both of them as true so that we can see only a single image. So that I can show you the effect of texture matrix values on the motion and rotation of the image. Remember, the texture matrix has got 9 values. These values control the position of the text inside the box. It can also control the rotation of the image. Also, it can control the zooming of the image. Among these 9 values, 3 are for x-axis, 3 for y-axis and 3 values are for z-axis. Let's see how they change the position, rotation and scale of the image. Let's change the values one by one and see the effects. I have also shown this property in my previous video. But in this video, you see the effect more prominently. So let's watch it. So that was all for today. Thanks for watching my video. Kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and also share with your friends. See you in the next lesson. Bye.